Wait, can y'all hear me? All right. Well, um, hey guys, it's uh, good to see you again. Um, I know it's been a few days since our last session, so um, I just kind of want to go over some things real quick and um, I'll let you guys kind of figure out where we go from there. Um, so if it's okay with you all, I'll go ahead and kind of discuss some things. Does that sound okay with everyone? Yep, that sounds great. That worked for me. Cool. All right, so um, I know you guys have been in this uh, couples counseling sessions. We've, we've been doing this all together for like three months now. And I know that I understand that's a long time. Um, but it's kind of like the necessary to where we want to be um, and where I want you guys to be. So um, I just kind of wanted to go over the goals um, and see where you guys are at in that. So, um, I mean, the first goal is to just improve your guys' satisfaction within the relationship. Um, so within that, um, within that, uh, that we have those two objectives, uh, which we've talked about before, spending 45 minutes together a week um, and then communicating um, for like 10 to 15 minutes in the morning and at the end of the day just to get, you know, you guys are on the same track. And then the second goal, uh, just decreasing the amount of sexual anxiety because um, I know Alex's um, frustrations with his disorder, I, I know it gets in the way of a lot of things, but I think we're on um, a good pace uh, with we, where we're at um, and decreasing his sexual anxiety from a 10 to a 7. Um, but that's kind of my take on it. So what, what are you all's thoughts on any of what I just said? Um, Keisha, do you want to go first and then I'll go? Um, I'm just, it's a work in progress. Um, we're getting there. I just, we're trying and I'll, I'll let you pick up what I'm trying to put down. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I know at least for me, I feel like, um, my, for the relationship satisfaction, which was one of our goals, because we were at like a three for me, I feel like it's definitely getting better because we've spent a lot more time trying to get on the same page. So I think that Keisha has been able to explain to me better, like what upsets her. And I've been trying to kind of make myself um, a little communicate myself better to her um, because I know that's something I struggled with in the past with everything else going on. I was trying to shoulder everything and keep it all in. So I've been trying to talk to her more. So I would say my like relationship satisfaction has definitely gone up to at least like a four um, mm -hmm. from that three, just from communication alone. Um, and then as far as my like anxiety, my sexual anxiety, it's still pretty high. Um, because like, I just can't stop thinking about like in the moment, I'm just so anxious. Like all I can think about is like, oh my gosh, like I want to do this for her. I want her to know that I love her, but I just, you know, every time I think about it, I, it's so much and, you know, and, I'll, and she's done like really well to try to like take that off of my plate, but I still, I just know how like big of an issue it is now that I'm struggling with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it sounds like you, your focus is on Keisha's satisfaction. Yeah. When, and when it comes so. to sex. Yeah. 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 It really is. Okay. And Keisha, would you object to that? Can, do you notice that? I, and I do, but my thing is, I wish, I wish he would focus on like, like be bettering yourself to make us better. So it's not, it doesn't always have to be on me because then that, that kind of starts to give me a little anxiety because then it's like everything is on me, like focused on me. And then that's, that's a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's just like, uh, 
just like a melting pot of these different anxieties and it's just like projecting onto each other and I can see how that would be really detrimental to just what you guys are trying to accomplish together so um I mean it sounds like you guys are both on the same page as to Alex getting more into the zone of his own satisfaction. So um, I'm wondering if it would be possible, Alex, for you to maybe focus more on yourself instead of focusing on Keisha. Do you think that would be doable? Yeah, at, like at this point, like for my personal goal, that's really what I'm trying to work on, but I'm really struggling to find a, a way that works, you know, because of course I'm like, I need to think, I need to be focused on me, but I, you know, I, I, I struggle with that. So I think mm -hmm. that's something I need to work on is like finding a way to like really do that. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I mean, when it comes to that, um, what, just take me a little bit through the process of what that looks like in your mind. Like what, what are some thoughts that you have? Well, like whenever it, like there's a time where I think like this would be an ideal time to like strike up, a, you know, to have sex. I, I'm like, okay, Alex, like get in, get there, you know, how start, you know, get to like, look at your, your girlfriend. You're very attracted to her like, let's do it. And then that's, you know, I start trying to like, I mean, get excited about it. And then all of a sudden, you know, I'm trying to be there with her and look at her and that's all of a sudden I'm like, okay, her, that's when I start to focus on her, even though I'm like actively trying to focus on me. I just, you know, I'm so, I want her to be happy too. And that's, I just, it's almost like a distraction immediately. I'm like, I know what I should be doing. Whoop, yeah. Keisha. Yeah. And so I think that's, I go into it with the mindset, like I'm going to focus on me. And then all of a sudden I'm not anymore. And then it's, just, it's like, it just happens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for sharing that, Alex. I appreciate it. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking that in order for you to kind of help you get more focused on your own desires, your pleasures, your own satisfaction, and not focusing so much on like the actual intercourse itself, and then making sure like Keisha orgasms and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's important to consider you. You are important. Um, I mean, Keisha's important too, obviously. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, um, yeah. So in order for you to get you in a place where you can focus on yourself. I think maybe some mindfulness um, training might help. Have you guys heard of that before? I haven't, no. Okay. I haven't either. Cool, all right. Well, if it's okay with you guys, I'm just gonna share my screen um, and kind of talk you through the uh, some mindfulness activities. Okay. Cool. Can I also add to, I feel like Alex feels sometimes like disappointed in himself like because it doesn't get to like where he might expect it to and it just I don't know it's like it almost makes me feel bad that he feels bad and then it's like we're both feeling bad about making each other feel bad it's just like a continuous us feeling bad yeah yeah it's, I I can see how it could be like just a cycle a cycle of feeling anxious and then passing that anxious feeling along to a partner and then not completing what you guys both want to happen that you are anxious about and it doesn't happen and then it starts all over because then you're anxious that it didn't happen so yeah that's exactly I, it too yeah, yeah yeah i i definitely respect that and um i'm hoping that maybe that some mindfulness maybe practicing a little bit um, after today's session could maybe help. Um, but yeah, so um, this is kind of the meditation, mindfulness meditation worksheet that I have pulled up. I think it's just one page. Let me make sure. Yep, it's just one page. Okay. 
All right. So you can, can you guys see that? Yes. Okay. All right. So basically mindfulness is just about getting in tune and in touch with your body, focusing on yourself and trying to let go of those thoughts that might be um, coming in about anything else, anything that has nothing to do about yourself. That's not what mindfulness is. Mindfulness is being mindful of your own body. Um, so I like this worksheet because it kind of tells you how to do it. And obviously I'm going to share this um, with you guys uh, so that you guys can do this on your own. Um, so I would suggest probably working through this um, mindfully, like while sex is happening, but also, um, I mean, like here it says aim to practice daily for 15 to, to 30 minutes. Um so when you do it more frequently and more consistently, um, you get better at it, obviously, because, you know, practice makes perfect. So um, whenever you guys have a time uh, and a place where you have some inter uninterrupted space, I would definitely suggest doing this for 15 to 30 minutes. And you don't have to do it together. Um, obviously, there's no benefits to doing it together because it's all about yourself. Um, so whenever you do have that time, just make sure you're sitting in a chair, uh, on the floor. Um, you don't want to be too stiff. You want to be as relaxed as possible. Um, so dropping your chin slightly, uh, gazing downward. Um, it's kind of like, like a, uh, like a yoga type of pose. Um, I know okay. it's used in yoga a lot, so, um, Letting your arms fall naturally to the sides as you're sitting there um, as relaxed as possible. Um, and if you ever feel uncomfortable, just make sure to uh, take a break or adjust and get into a space where you are still able to pay attention to what you're doing. Um, so basically mindfulness is all about breathing and um being aware of where your headspace is going. Um, so you want to pay attention to how you're breathing. Um, you want to pay attention to what your body's doing and what it's telling you to do. Um, and this is just general mindfulness. This isn't necessarily about mindfulness whenever you guys are having sex. Um, and I'll get to that after I go through this worksheet. So this worksheet is just about general, like a guideline to mindfulness. Okay. Um, so yeah, just being um, aware of your breathing. How, how is that pace? How is that tempo? Um, can you feel the air going into your lungs? Can you feel it going out of your nose or your mouth? Um, and then paying attention to where your mind is. Um, so just recognizing where your thoughts are going, where they're leading you to go, um, and just focusing on any, like, repeating thoughts or anything like that. Um, does that kind of make sense to you guys? Did I explain it well enough? Okay, cool. I definitely think this will help. Yeah. And even, like you said, like, to give us both like time to focus on like ourselves sorry I was about to say each other yeah exactly yeah so we want to make sure that you guys are focusing on yourselves and making sure that um you know obviously you don't want to be anxious at all which is you know we talked about the cycle so we don't want you feeling anxious um Alex I think it's not more important but it's specifically important with um, the hypoact hypoactive uh, sexual desire disorder, um, just in terms of, you know, satisfaction and completion, because if you're not happy, then Keisha isn't happy. And then if you are happy, then I'm sure Keisha is happy. So how does that sound for you, Alex? I think that sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty accurate, I think each other's happiness is kind of our singular focus. Like my focus is 
making sure she's happy. And I think her focus is making sure I'm happy and our paths just aren't crossing right now. So mm -hmm. I think if we can focus on making ourselves happy, that would actually be doing our current focus. So I think that's, you've got it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think maybe trying to practice uh, just the general mindfulness would be helpful um, just with general anxiety but in terms of using mindfulness when you guys are actually in the moment um, I, I don't know what do you think that looks like Alex I think based on you know kind of how you've just explained general mindfulness and like really like focusing on like breath coming in and breath going out i could like i mean i feel like i could focus on kind of breathing in those moments too but that might would be distracting a little bit for me personally so i might could focus on like what i'm feeling in the moment like you know things that are feeling good to me like pleasurable to me and like how it's making me feel instead of wondering how it's making her feel so just like really trying to do like an inner talk off, like oh that feels good to me when she does this and it might even look like for me to say that out loud to her like it feels good when you do that for me because yeah. i think then it at least in the beginning it you know that would i feel like that's like a good like um like happy medium because then I can be like letting her know like, hey, this is what's happening for me. And then it's a good way for her to communicate and kind of let me know she's happy too. Because I think that that's always going to be in my mind somewhere. So at least until I can get to a place where I can really focus just on me, that would be what, what that would look like right now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Not really. exactly. I mean, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really giving us that happy medium. Yeah. And I, I think I would um, maybe consider when you um, actually tell Keisha when that feels good, maybe we can progress into that. Um, but in terms of saying it out loud to her, I'm wondering if that might create no longer mindfulness. Like, do you think that would maybe cause some issues with being in the moment and being in touch with your uh, sensations. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. Cause I think that you're right. I like, I definitely understand what you're saying. Um, I think that I'm just worried about like coming back to our next session and being like, all right, Madison, this is what I did. And then I said it out loud. And so this is my way to kind of mediate that before I do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But like, I'll definitely try. I think my, I'll, I'll make an effort to, to be completely mindful. Yeah. Um, I think that that was just like a way for me to safeguard myself. So yeah, you're right. I'll, I think that I shouldn't, but I don't know if I won't. <laughs> right. No, no, no. And that's okay. Um, I don't expect you to be professionals at this. Like you didn't even know what mindfulness was like 10 minutes ago. So you're not going to be perfect at it. And that's totally okay. Um, but I'm just wondering if maybe saying it out loud in the beginning might be a distraction, but we can definitely work on that. Like if that makes you feel comfortable, then totally go with that. If that makes you feel good and you don't you don't think that would distract you then totally go with it um but I would just be concerned with the whole distraction thing okay I'll, I'll definitely try at uh, try it at least once and if you know if that doesn't work then we'll see how it goes yeah. but I definitely want to try it if you think that it would be better then I think that that's what I should go for right yeah so, um, yeah, and maybe just pay, paying attention to where your mind goes, like whenever you do feel good and you feel like something is working, um, what do you think about paying attention to those thoughts? And if something isn't working, what would you do with that information? Um... 
when you say when something isn't working, like, what do you mean? Like my mindfulness or like sexually, like something doesn't seem like it's going well for both of us. Right. Um, yeah. I think that another thing that I personally need to work on is like negative self-talk. And so when something goes wrong, instead of immediately being like, I'm doing this wrong, I'm just working really hard on being mindful that that's not necessarily Ke the way Keisha feels about it. So I think that for me, I just have to remind myself, like, Keisha didn't say this, you said this. And so instead of being like, you're not doing this right, just accepting like, oh, this ain't it. And then trying something different, I think yeah. is what I'll have to do. Yeah. And like without judgment, right? Yeah. Because not everyone's perfect. Like I said, uh, not no one, no one is perfect. So just keeping that in mind. And um, I mean, you guys are here to work on it. Um, so, you know, you're, you're uh, going towards the right direction. And um, I appreciate you both. Thank you. I know I really appreciate you taking the time and like work with us because it's something that I'm I personally am really struggling with, and I know that Keisha is kind of struggling as well with my struggle, and so it means a lot to both of us. It's really, really helping. We're getting there. It's just going to keep taking time, but I think we're both at the point where, like, we're here to, I mean, to work for it. We wouldn't be here if we didn't. If we didn't. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys. I'll see you uh, during the next session. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you.